then you listen, reflecting back every once in a while, summarizing every once in a while, but you listen for strengths, you listen for ambivalence, that is the yes but, you listen for concerns, and you listen for areas of compromise. What you also listen for, and very importantly, is you listen for their expressions of their personal, or more importantly for this context, their career values. What do they want their career to look like? What do they want their teaching contributions to look like? What do they want their service and research contributions to look like? And you use your understanding of that to connect what you want from them or what you hope to get from them to their values. And so understanding their point of view is very important. And what's also important is that when you're trying to do this, don't yes but them. Don't make the same mistake that they are prone to make with you. Listen, don't give your perspective, don't give the department's perspective, there's time for that.